you guys. So I just got myself together real quick. The kids are out in the living room having a dance party, but I threw on some makeup. Honestly, I don't know what I'm gonna do with my hair today. <laughs> I'm just kind of leaving it. It's just one of those days where like, I just don't really care. But um, we are going to get our 4th of July decorations up. It's about, what, three days I think now? Two days before Memorial Day? I don't even know, when's Memorial Day? Monday, so it's two days before Memorial Day. So um, usually how I do my decor is I will put it up right before Memorial Day and leave it up obviously until after July 5th, 4th, I almost said July 5th, um, because obviously the next holiday is July 4th anyway, so I just leave it up. So it's a little chilly out, but the sun is out. My kids are screaming in the background, oh my lord. Does anybody else's kids do this? Like I leave them for two seconds just to do like one thing and they are fighting like cats and dogs. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna get the decorations up because um, it's sunny out and it's a little bit nice. And then I don't really know what else we have in store for today. Bowden has his first t-ball practice tonight. Um, and yeah, we'll see where the day takes us. All right, real quick, I just have to show you this. My girlfriend turned me on to this. Um, this is from Walmart, Better Homes and Gardens. It's a Sienna Wood Vanilla like spray, it's like a room spray. Oh my goodness, this smells absolutely amazing. I'm gonna go back to Walmart and buy everything in this scent. But if you guys are looking for like a new scent, this is it. This is like such a cozy scent. It just makes your home smell so cozy and inviting and warm and I'm obsessed. So run to Walmart and pick one up. Okay. All our stuff is very unorganized down here. I mean, all our decor is like over here, but uh, this is a little bit of a mess. I have to go search through and hopefully find all of our 4th of July stuff. <laughs> for the 4th of July, I was on the hunt for um, a like patriotic candy or cookie that I could put in here. So I got this, this is the Target dollar section um, gumball machine, like cookie jar thing that was super popular. When was this, like Christmas time or Thanksgiving fall last year? I can't remember. Um, but yeah, ever since I've been keeping it out, I feel like I'm getting old now because I officially have a cookie jar that I refill for every holiday. But anyway, um, so every single holiday I've been putting like, um, different types of candy, like holiday candy, or like for, what was it, Easter, I think? I did like the little um, frosted animal cookies. So I needed to find something for the July, and honestly, there was really not a lot of choices when I looked online. The only thing I could find was red, white, and blue M&Ms, and I wasn't a big fan of those, but I came across these. These Sour Patch Kids, red, white, and blue. Bowden and Nate love Sour Patch Kids, so I thought they'd be so fun. It's uh, blue raspberry, lemon, and red berry, but um, if you guys are looking for this, this is a one pound bag and I got it from Joanne Fabrics. They had them for, I think, $9 and something cents and then I got them 20% off because they're doing 20% off all patriotic stuff right now. Um, so they came up to like, I don't know, after tax, like eight bucks for the pound, which the only other place I could find these was Amazon and they wanted like 14 bucks for this. And then I also found them like a candy website and they only wanted like seven bucks, I think, but of course shipping was like another $7. So if you're looking for patriotic candy, Joanne Fabrics has a ton of options, which is super random. I would never like think of that, but yeah, look there.
I just pulled a tick off of my freaking shoulders. Um, I'm kind of having a little bit of panic attack right now, but it's all good. So I'll tell you this very quickly. So me and Emmy were at um, a like auto shop near us because ever since we got back from our trip on spring break, our road trip, my back left tire um, was losing air. So we filled it up and like my car, I have a Chevy Traverse. So it tells you like on the dash, one of the options is like, it can tell you, um, like if your tires are low and like how much air your tires are in, right? So my tires rotated and my whole, whole car like inspected before we went on the road trip. So when we went back, we thought it was our, um, my back right tire. We filled the back right tire and it still said it was low. So Nate's like, they must have not like recalibrated the system. I guess the newer cars, when you rotate your tires, you have to like, I don't know, there's like a sensor or something that you have to reset to like talk to the car and tell the car that the tires have switched. So it was actually my front left tire. So anyway, long story short, we went in finally to get it fixed. It's been like over a month since this has been going on and we finally went in to get it fixed today. So we're sitting there and we're like sitting at a table waiting, you know, forever. And my hair, oh my God. So I just got out of the shower and I was like, just going like this, like kind of like itching my back and I felt something. And I thought maybe it was like a like spot of dry skin because sometimes my skin gets really dry after the shower or like, I don't know, just like a bump on my skin. So I like went like this and kind of rubbed at it and it felt like dry, like almost like dried blood or something. And I was like, what the heck is this? So I like pulled like this and like kind of scraped it off and I was like holding it in between my fingers and like brought it up like this. And I look and it's a tick and it's like crawling around and I'm like kind of silently having a panic attack because there was a ton of people in the place. So I didn't want to like make a scene. So I just like slowly grabbed a wipe out of the diaper bag and like put the tick on the wipe and was like looking at it for a minute. And I like saw that the head and everything was on it. And I'm like, okay. So I like took a picture of it with my phone, sent it to Nate. And I was like, I just found a tick on my back. And I'm like having a panic attack inside the auto body shop. Like talk me off the ledge. Oh my God. <laughs> so I'm just kind of like sitting there for a minute, kind of panicking, Googling stuff about tick bites and everything. And I was like, I don't know what to do because I want to save it to test it for Lyme disease, which Nate thinks I'm like ridiculous for wanting to do that, which is fine, but I'm going to anyway. So it's like, I want to save it, but I have nothing in my diaper bag. Like all I had was the diaper bag with me. So I'm like, what do I do? So I'm just kind of sitting there. I fold up the, the wipes to make sure that the tick won't come out of it. And I'm just like thinking for a minute. And I'm like, okay, wait, I have these dog poop bags. So we use these for diapers um, and they come in handy now. The kids are a little bit older. I mean, still in diapers, but... Um, they also come in handy when you have older kids because like garbage from snacks and wrappers and stuff. I always have these with me in the car and then I have it back in the diaper bag for that reason. So I was like, oh my God, I'll throw it in there and tie it up so that it won't be able to come out, but it will keep it alive so I can save it. So I have to transfer it from here to here and I'll show you guys. I'm like so freaked out. I don't think it bit me or was like on me too long because I just checked my back when I got home. That's another thing. I was at this auto body shop and then I had to go straight to pick up home from school. So I'm like, I can't even like check my body and make sure there's no other ticks or like that I don't have a rash or anything. So I was like feeling around, couldn't feel any blood from where it was. So I'm like, okay, there's no blood. I get the, got the head out too, thank God. I was like lucky that I just grabbed it the right way, I guess. Cause usually you're not supposed to grab it with your hands. You're supposed to use like a tweezer. <laughs> oh my God. Ugh, I hate ticks so much. They just freak me out so bad. Like they're just so gross. And this year I've heard that ticks are super, super bad this spring. I don't know if that's true or not, but I've heard of a lot of people getting bit by ticks lately. So, Ugh. but yeah, I'm going to get it tested because it only costs like $35 to get a tick tested. Um, and I just think it's worth it. Yeah. I want to play tennis. Okay. Just a second. Let me get this out and then I'll help you. Oh my God, I'm going. I don't even know how to get this out, man. Where is it? I'm scared. Oh, I see it. It's on the bag. Okay. How am I going to do this? How am I literally going to do this? Is it still alive? I think it's still alive. Guys, I hate bugs so much. Hello, little tick. Oh 
It's not moving. Is it alive still? Guys, I hate this. I hate bugs, like literally to my core. I just can't. Okay, hi. Oh, I'm dying inside. Okay. Be brave, Marina. Be a big girl. You can do this, girl. I've given birth twice. I can handle a little baby tick. It's fine. Get the heck off of this, dude. Ah! Okay, I won't get off the wipe now. I'm not trying to kill you because I need you to stay alive. I mean, it won't get off the freaking wipe now. So, I don't know. Will wipes kill it? I don't know. Oh my god, guys. I can't. This is nasty. This is so nasty. I can't tell what kind of tick it is. Can you take this one out? Yes. Hold on. Okay. Wait. Hold on. Actually, I don't want to. I can't really tell what kind of tick it is. I'm going to have to do some more research. But it's brown. It's like a very dark brown. But yeah, I got the head off. So that's good. Oh, guys. I'm freaked out. I'm really freaked out. All right, we just got to go to the ball practice now. It's absolutely freezing out, so I put on Nate's flannel as I was running out of the house. It is so cold, but the plus side is they have a park here, right, Emmy? Also, I'm holding Pup. We got this puppy from um, the carnival in town this weekend, and it is the new obsession. It has to come everywhere with us, and Emmy's busy climbing up the ladder. So I have puppy babysitting duties right now. Oh, 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 oh. Emmy's dizzy. Whoa, Emmy's whoa. dizzy. Uh oh, we're spinning pep. But we're getting dizzy. <laughs> we're gonna push her on the swing again. I don't know if puppy's a boy or a girl, actually. I just assumed. Oh! Alright, I'm working on my end of the year gift. I'm sorry, there's a lawnmower going, but um, I just wanted to get this done really quick before it gets too late. But I bought these six, I think I should do this in my last video. I bought these six little watering cans from Target Dollar Spot, and then we went to our local plant store and got these. I was hoping for some circular ones, but I couldn't find any that fit. So I got these two, they're like two packs that were like together, and I cut them in half so they fit a little bit better in here. I couldn't find anything else that really fit well besides that, but I was a little bit disappointed, but it didn't work. I definitely waited till the last minute, so it is what it is. What you got? Oh, you got all the bad guys in your hand. Uh, all the superheroes. Um, but Bowden picked all these out for the teachers. He picked this, there was a pink one, then like a multicolor one, and this beautiful like orange and like light orange and burnt orange ones. I love this one. And then Bowden picked out these purple ones for himself. <laughs> And then I got these garden, three pack of garden steaks for a dollar from Target. So I'm just going to write a little message on them and a little, their name and whatnot and put these inside and then stick them in. I'll show you guys when I'm done. So here's how they turn out, super quick, super easy. Um, I'm gonna put their names, obviously, up top in this section, but I'll do that after I'm done filming it. Okay, it's okay. But yeah, I think they turn, out, they turn out pretty cute. I have more for these, but I had already written their names, so obviously I didn't wanna add those in yet, but I think they turn out pretty cute. I'm gonna try and find a box that's big enough to 
fit all these in to transport them to school tomorrow. So that might be a little bit of a challenge. If you guys are needing a super quick, easy um, gift idea, I think this will turn out pretty cute.